I'm Christine Persichetti with this current news update. After collapsing on Friday, Silicon Valley Bank has a whole new set of problems to worry about. A class action lawsuit is being filed against the bank's parent company, CEO and CFO, claiming no one disclosed the problems interest rate increases would impose on its business. Furthermore, the DOJ is investigating why the bank collapsed so quickly as regulators run damage control. Bank collapses, markets in turmoil, investor uncertainty. There are a lot of reasons to worry about your money, but there are also ways to keep it safe and sound. Here are just a few ways to stay financially savvy. Investors looking to grow their hard-earned money are facing increasingly volatile markets in 2023. A shaky stock market, a rocky real estate industry, and an imploding crypto sector. So what can you do now to protect your assets and better manage your portfolio? Take the time to educate before you allocate and, and you know, make sure that you do your homework. Financial expert Lynette Calfani Cox has five tips to help you this year. The first one is to do your research before investing in any market. And number two, have a plan. Once you understand the risks, figure out how much you can invest, especially amid soaring inflation. Small amounts of money count too when it comes to investing. So often people fail to even begin because they say, well, I don't have $5,000 to start or I don't have a big lump sum of money to put into the markets. Three, diversify your investments. Kalfani Cox recommends avoiding an over-concentration in one area. And number four, treat crypto with extreme caution, especially after two main banks for crypto companies shut down this month, adding another blow to the crypto industry, which is still struggling to recover from last year's crippling crypto winter that pushed Bitcoin down nearly 65%. Don't just throw your money into something um, in the short run thinking, okay, I'm going to, you know, this is going to be part of my get rich quick scheme. It simply doesn't work like that. And finally, know your limits. No matter how much research you've done, be a humble investor. If you're looking for more ways to protect your bottom line, consider talking to a financial advisor. There are some possible future financial advisors in the Diocese of Brooklyn as Catholic students competed in a Math B face-off. The third, fourth, and fifth grade students showcased their abilities to solve math problems on Tuesday. The winners are from St. Joseph the Worker, St. Francis de Sales, Our Lady of Grace, and St. Bernadette's. The finals will take place on March 28th at 4 p.m. at St. Helen Catholic Academy. Good luck to all. And from math to the arts, a woman has made it her mission to depict how a group of cloistered nuns pray to love. That's the name of the exhibit and the motto the Sisters of the Visitation live by. Artist Anne Getze photographed, filmed, and painted their simple everyday lives over a period of 20 years. Last weekend, Pray to Love took a short visit to the Emmaus Center. Speaking with Currents News, Anne says she hopes the exhibit can inspire people to discern their own call and find peace in a contemplative life, just like the sisters do. They have the vow of poverty, they have the simplicity, and they have joy. I think we were all searching for that. It reflects back on my own life. And we're quiet and we're in hidden order. Our, our, our charism is really to be hidden, not to be out there. And yet, the Lord has permitted us to be out there through these paintings. Anne is filming all of her experiences at each monastery she visits, as well as at her art shows, and is planning to turn it into a documentary. And for more information about her work, just go to AnneGetzi.com. Now to a celebration a decade in the making. Thousands sent in their well wishes to Pope Francis as he marked 10 years as the successor of St. Peter. And although the Holy Father celebrated the milestone quietly with a closed door mass on Monday, he did not forget the faithful. On Monday, Pope Francis tweeted his gratitude for people's prayers throughout his pontificate and asked them to continue to do so. As those well wishes continue to pour in from around the world, the Pope paid particular attention to his home country of Argentina. The Holy Father has not visited since being elected Pope, but on his milestone anniversary, he did give the country a shout out. Quiero agradecer de una manera especial 
a todas las personas pertenecientes a los partidos políticos y referentes sociales de mi país que se han unido para firmar una carta de saludo con motivo del décimo año del pontificado. Gracias por este gesto. When asked in an interview recently about going to Argentina, Pope Francis did say a trip there had been scheduled for 2017, but plans changed. He did affirm he wants to go. Along with Currents News, the tablet newspaper is also sharing special coverage of the Pope's milestone anniversary. In this week's paper, you can read about Francis's thoughts about his pontificate so far, plus what his hopes are going forward. So be sure to pick up a copy of the paper this weekend. And for even more articles about the Pope's 10-year anniversary, just go to their website, thetablet.org. And that is this Currents News update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news. Currents News is there. Our team coverage begins with Currents News. Jessica Easthope outside the cathedral in downtown Los Angeles. Thousands of people have been coming here today to pay their respects to Bishop David O'Connell. The final farewell for a bishop whose life was tragically cut short. Christ, Plus a look at his impactful ministry. That's where Bishop O'Connell liked to spend most of his time. And hearing from those who knew him best. He was always a quick yes. Yes, like, what do you need? Yes, I'll be there. And Bishop O'Connell would go out and walk the streets and get to know people. I don't think we're going to have another one like Bishop David O'Connell. I was better for having known David O'Connell. When news happens, Currents News is there.